Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. I want to do this video here today with Cody Bellinger from the Dodgers. Those of you who follow him know that he hits with tremendous power. Just hits the ball a ton. Just, just tremendous power. So I want to just show you what he does in order to achieve this tremendous power. What he does to achieve early bat speed. And early bat speed is crucial in order for you to be successful at the higher levels. When you achieve early bat speed, what this allows you to do, it allows you to hit the most elite pitchers you're going to face, whether you're playing baseball or softball. And I'm going to get into what he's doing in order for you to emulate what he does so that you can achieve early bat speed and get more power in your swing. So let's get started here. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you here is this, and it's crucial that you start off with a good setup, okay? And this is always something that I do when I'm working with my students. I'm checking their setup. And one thing I would highly recommend for you to achieve early bat speed is this. Just set your body up correctly. Make sure your weight's in the instep of your back foot, inside of your ankle, and inside of your inner thigh. This is so important. Many times players don't do this, and when the back knee is over the back foot, that creates a lot of problems. You don't want that. Another thing to be aware of is this. When you are setting up, try to feel that your weight's, again, inside of this particular area. And if you're looking at yourself in a mirror, try to make sure that your knee, if you draw a line going straight down like this, that there's a gap between that line and your ankle. So there should be a gap between your knee and your ankle. And you can see here with Cody, he just does a beautiful job right here of making sure that he's set up correctly. This is going to give you the opportunity to, when you get into your gather, into your negative move, it's going to allow you to coil against a firm backside in order for you to get that separation between the lower and upper body, which is crucial, again, for early bat speed. Now, as we go further here, you're going to see here with Cody what he does. He just gets into really nice rhythm. And Cody has kind of a unique kind of a setup where he's pretty much preset into his apex of his gather. And I recommend this for players that are getting into problems with overload. And you can see here what he does here. Basically what he does, once he gets to this point right here, he's basically at the apex of his gather. Then he starts to move his body forward. In other words, he doesn't let his body shift back a little bit like you do see with some players in the MLB. Either Either way is fine as long as you keep that instep pressure and keep those angles I just mentioned to you, okay? Now again, back to the video in regards to early bat speed. Now one thing I highly recommend is this, and if you watch my videos, if you bought my Build Your Swing Plan, you know how I, how I explain this in great detail about letting the back elbow work back and behind you. Now that this is crucial for early bat speed. Now watch what's going on right here. Once he gets to the apex of his gather, his hands and arms are very quiet, but once he starts getting to his forward move, watch what's going on with his back elbow. You're going to see here that his back elbow works up, back, and behind him as he gets into toe touch, and he continues to maintain that resistance, that pullback, even as he gets into his heel plant, and that is crucial for early bat speed. Now watch what's going on here. He's pulling back. He continues to pull back, and even at this stage right here, he's still pulling back. It's very obvious because you can see here by the back of his tricep there that is still back while, while you see that his shoulders are a little bit more open than his back elbow. So this shows me right here he's still pulling back. Now this is going to help you tremendously if you're trying to achieve early bat speed. Again, as you get into your forward move, let your back elbow work up, back, and behind you and continue to maintain that pullback even into heel plant, even into connection. Now watch what's going on right here. Now because of this particular move that he's doing, he's achieving early bat speed. Watch what's going on with his bat. All the bat speed is way behind him, okay? It's not in front of him like you see in lower level players. And I'm just going to draw some lines here for you and explain to you what's going on here with his swing. Now, and you're going to see here, it's going to be pretty obvious by these kind of dots and lines that I'm going to draw for you what's going on with his swing. And it's real important to understand when you're playing baseball, again, in softball, if you do not apply early bat speed, you're going to deprive yourself the opportunity to hit against players, against pitchers that are throwing at elite levels. I have seen this for many years with many players that do not have early bat speed. They have a very difficult time catching up with players that are of the elite level. Now, watch what's going on right here with his bat. Now, if I draw some lines here, again, you saw those circles that I'm drawing here, and what I'm basically doing, I'm just covering the path of the bat right here, what's going on with the bat. 
Now, it's important to understand, again, that if you are not applying early bat speed, you're going to deprive yourself of the opportunity to hit at the pitchers at the elite level. Now, see how the bat is behind him? Now, many times, again, when I'm working with younger players, when they first come to me, their bat speed is more out in front. Now, when you have your bat speed achieved that in front, you're not going to be able to catch up again to the elite players. Now, you can see here, it's very obvious here with Cody that the bat speed that he's achieving in his swing is out in back. I mean, it's, it's behind him. It's not in front of him. And again, if I draw these lines right here, you can see here, follow the path of his bat, okay? The bat speed is behind him. The bat speed is behind him because of everything I just mentioned to you. So if we back this up right here, it all starts with a good setup, okay? It starts with the proper sequence of walking away from the hands. His hands stay back, okay? You can see here that his hands stay back as he starts walking away from the hands. His hands stay right there by the back foot. And by doing so and applying that pullback I just mentioned, it allows the bat to get into this beautiful hand path right there. So the bat speed is behind him, lets the elbow work up to the mouth, and he just gets into this beautiful right here. This was a home run right here. It just explodes through the ball. Now, again, this video right here, if I truly believe if you apply what I just shared with you, it's going to help you to achieve that early bat speed. Again, watch what's going on here because of the pullback, the resistance, the bat speed is behind him. Now, you can do this drill for yourself. If you just get into your heel plant and just feel that pullback and the resistance and watch yourself in a mirror and make sure that you see that blur behind you, just do this over and over. And this is going to show you if you see that blur behind you and you can, all you got to do is just go to this far right here. You don't have to go any further. You're going to feel yourself with that pullback and the resistance as the elbow works up to the height of the mouth that your bat speed is going to be behind you. In other words, you don't want your hands coming across your chest. You want the hands, your hand path to be around the deltoid. In other words, your hand path, what it should do is work around the corner of your deltoid, okay? You do not want your hand path going straight across your chest because when you do that, your bat speed will be achieved out in front, therefore, again, depriving you of the opportunity to hit elite pitchers. Now, I did a two-hour and 45-minute video going into great detail about drills to fix this, and I also have an additional video for free for 20 minutes of swing flaws and how to fix swing flaws and also how to get your swing in the correct, the, your swing in the correct sequence. That is free with the purchase of my Build Your Swing Plan. Now, I hope this video has been helpful. I truly believe if you apply what Cody's doing here, it's going to help you to get to another level. Again, it is crucial to play at the, high, to play at the highest level that you must do what these elite players do in the MLB, achieve that early bat speed. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you learned something, and I always appreciate your viewership.